It's not like I haven't worked hard or worked late nights. I have. But I've been able to build a successful career without feeling like I've had to try very hard. Since changing my career from science to accounting, I've advanced professionally in my career and more than doubled my income to six figures. There are five key principles that allow me to do this. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Enoch and I'm an accountant based in Melbourne, Australia. Let's get right into it. The first key principle is build on your strengths. In the book, Now Discover Your Strengths by Marcus Buckingham and Don Clifton, they talk about how all of us have innate talents. And if we build on our innate talents with knowledge and skills, they become our strengths. For me, that meant I focused on building upon my systematic and logical thinking skills, combined with my tendency to enjoy learning, research, and analysis. Focusing on your strengths gives you confidence and allows you to feel less stressed in what you do. It helps you feel more satisfied and more engaged in your work. Compare this to trying to shore up your areas of weakness. If I had decided to become an illustrator, makeup artist, or tennis coach, I would have had to struggle very hard to become competent. It's not impossible to do, but it will be very difficult every step of the way. Even within your chosen profession, there will be roles and specializations that utilizes your strengths better than others. By focusing on your strengths, everything will feel easier. That leads to faster growth and development, and that makes it easier to develop mastery. And this leads to my next point. Prioritize for learning and growth. Learning and growth are required for you to advance in your career. The more useful skills you have, the more valuable you are to your employers or customers. I prioritize learning and growth in my career and as a person. As you gain experience and achieve mastery in an area, things will feel easier. Plus, you'll be more likely to be given the autonomy to do self-directed work. If you have mastery and your skills and experience are in demand, then you'll be more likely to find work that feels purposeful for you. And as Dan Pink says in his book, Drive, mastery, autonomy, and purpose help give you intrinsic motivation. And that leads to better career satisfaction. While you can learn and grow by yourself, you can accelerate your growth with this next key principle. Seek out mentors and sponsors. Mentors and sponsors can help you accelerate your career. Because of their experience and position, they can see things you cannot see at the present stage of your career and life. I've approached my mentors with my career challenges and sought their advice on how to think about them and solve them. Bill Cohen is a mentor of mine and he has helped me shape my career story and how I pitch my strengths, skills, and experience to employers. Bill recently wrote this book, Building a Winning Career, where he distilled his years of career transition consulting experience into a book. Even though this book is targeted at people going for senior roles, the ideas apply equally to young graduates and mid-career professionals. So reading books like this and many others can expose you to years, decades, and centuries of wisdom and experience that you can learn from. Then there are also sponsors who can help you advance in your career within an organization by advocating for you and supporting your growth and development. I have been incredibly lucky to have had CEOs, CFOs, and senior finance leaders who have sponsored and supported my career growth and provided mentorship internally. Part of why I was able to have the support of my sponsors is because of this next principle. Know your customers and stakeholders. I learned this idea from the startup of you by Reid Hoffman and Bankes Nocha. Even if you're an employee, you should think of yourself as an entrepreneur, as the boss of your own company. Your employer is your customer. Your manager is your customer. Your stakeholders are your customers. So what do your customers want? What do they need? What will help them achieve their goals? The more you help deliver on their wants, needs, and goals, the more successful you will be. I joined an IT company and delivered on what they wanted in terms of analysis and reporting, but also noticed what they needed. The company's existing management reporting infrastructure was out of step with how the business was operating. So I helped transform the company's financial reporting system. And that project helped build my reputation and enabled me to advance my career quickly in the company. 
With all that said, career isn't everything. That's why the final principle is maintain work-life balance. While there may be periods when you have to work hard and work long hours, it's important to maintain some level of work-life balance. When I'm off work, I endeavor to switch my mind off work completely. Even though my company offers a company phone, I keep my personal phone separate so that when I'm offline, I can be truly offline. This allows me to enjoy the fruits of my labor and feel like I'm living a fulfilling life. My identity is not totally wrapped up in my career. I'm also a hiker, a scuba diver, a climber, a home cook, a video editor, and a YouTuber. As you move through life, there may be periods of time when you may decide to focus more on the life side of things. This may mean that you'll forgo a job opportunity or a higher salary in order to protect your life outside of work. And that's perfectly okay. You can always go back to hustling and working hard when you want to focus on your career again. With these five key principles, you'll be able to succeed in your career without feeling like you're Sisyphus pushing an immense boulder up a mountain every single day. You may have to work hard and work late nights from time to time, but as you advance, grow, and develop mastery and gain autonomy, things will feel easier. That said, no person is an island you'll need to be able to communicate and work with others effectively. Watch my next video to learn how. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.